Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi. Hey, good evening. Good evening, good everybody. How are you guys? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. I'm fine. That's good. Good to hear you, Marlon. Excellent. And good to know that you're fine. What about Gabby? How are you, Gabby? I'm okay, teacher. You're okay. Excellent. Very good. What about, let me check. Who else is in here? We also have Catherine. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good to hear you. Let's see, Samuel. How are you, Samuel? I find teacher. Excellent. Very good to hear you. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. I hope that you are safe and sound. All right. I hope everything's okay with you guys. Now let's work on section five. Today's class, uh, the topic is I can't ice escape very well. We are officially in class 13. All right. Miren qué súper rápido hemos llegado a la clase número 13. O sea, es decir, esta semana termina su curso, ¿ok? Hello. No me. more. Hello, Lorena. No more mis arevalos around it. Ok, you're going to have another one. Let's check. Um, you know, when they start to another... Um, the other level? The other yeah. course. Mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. No, I have no Maybe idea. Two week. Yeah, it might be. It might be in a week, around, or less. It could be less or more, but it's going to be. All right. So I want to ask you. Um, could you, no, no, could you know? What do you think about, so I want to try to apply in a call center, an English account, but I don't know, so I need to experience um, recommendation about me, but I don't know. So I, I felt, I felt very nervous when I tried to, in an interview, but I don't know. So I needed to recommendation about me. Okay, Marlon, if you want, you can text me. Um, you can text me later if you want, and we can talk about that but as far as i have seen marlon you have a pretty good english you just need to trust on yourself right you need to be more confident that's pretty much it because what i understood from what you said is that you feel nervous when when talking in english so you just need to work on your confidence <laughs> <laughs> uh, well um i don't know so I try. Yeah, I try. you have to try. I mean, you're a man, so that shouldn't be that difficult for a man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, try your best and let me know if I can help you on something else. All right. And I'm going to let you know if I can give you some advice. Now, right. everybody, let's check. Let me see. Last class, I was checking the recording about last class. Estaba chequeando la grabación de la clase pasada. Porque se me olvidó quiénes habían participado. <laughs> All right. Entonces me puse a ver toda la recording. Y vi que en estos readings, si es bien, es cierto, ya los finalizamos. Right. We work on them. We already know them perfectly. I'm still missing some people to read over here. All right. Aunque ya los terminamos, ya los, ya lo trabajaron. Pero yo leí estos dos paragraphs last class. So we're missing time. Uh, we're missing pretty much like two people around, three or four, right? To read this information. So I'm gonna read it for you again. Voy a leerla para ustedes de regreso, solamente los últimos dos, porque este, después de que yo lo leí, Samuel leyó este de Spain. Así que vamos con los otros dos para que recordemos la pronunciation y los voy a poner a ustedes, all right? So on New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes for a strength in the new year. So they have a special like uh, rice cake. Es una 
es como un pastelillo, básicamente, de arroz, right? que ellos comen para tener fortalezas durante el nuevo año. In some Americans, no, some Americans from southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Now, as I told you in last class, these are traditions that people use in New Year's Eve, right? That's something that they just do because it's a tradition for them. So let's listen to Gabi. Gabi, can you read the information about Japan, the tradition about Japan? Yeah. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes for a stream in the New Year. Excellent, Gabi. Very good. No mistakes. Ni one is right, Gabi. Very good. Let's go with, let me check, vamos a ver. El otro es un poquito más largo, so let's see. We're gonna have Maybelline Cisneros, please. Can you read it about Americans' traditions? Uh, some Americans from Southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with col color greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Excellent, maybe, Maybelline. All right, you guys, mm -hmm. listen up. The fact that you are not making any mistake, el hecho de que no estemos cometiendo errores en estos readings indica que ustedes han estado leyendo, right? han estado practicando con los videos. Y a estas alturas yo espero que nadie se me haya quedado en la sección 2 ni en la sección 1 y que no les haga falta nada de esas sections, right? Vamos muy bien, tienen un excelente nivel. Y en serio que yo les deseo muchísimo éxito para lo que resta de este curso, es decir, esta semana y para el próximo. Pero... Espero que nadie se haya quedado atrás y hayan completado todas las demás sections. Because today we're going to work on section five. Ahora y mañana vamos a trabajar en la sección cinco. Eh, probablemente todavía la primera media hora del miércoles vamos a trabajar en la section five. Luego vamos a trabajar en el final exam. Vamos a tener un review el día jueves. Que un review increíble, chicos. All right? so no se pueden perder esa clase el jueves. So let's see. We have. Number two, rewrite senten the sentences in the correct order. A ver, una práctica chiquitita con los... A ver si, que, si ya, te, de, ya detectaron qué tipo de grammatical tense we have over here. Qué tipo de tiempo gramatical tenemos por aquí. All right? If by any chances you haven't yet, si por alguna razón todavía no lo hemos... This one is a simple present, all right? We continue on simple present. You just need to practice with it. Bye. Eh, aquí tienen, seguimos en el simple present, pero también tienen adverse of frequency. Así que ustedes lo que van a hacer es ordenar las oraciones, okay? I'm gonna give you time. Voy a darles tiempo en su cuaderno. You can order the sentence. Please remember, por favor, no se nos olvide que después del subject vamos a utilizar el adverb of frequency, right? No se nos olvide eso. Solo tenemos una exception, que es el sometimes, pero no he logrado localizar el sometimes en estos sentence.
by the way, por cierto, tienen nuevos adverse of frequency over here, all right? For example, occasional, okay, uh -huh. adverse of frequency. Uh, we have occasionally and also rarely, right? Rarely. Creo que esos serían los únicos que son. Ah, and frequently, all right? Tienen nuevos adverbs ahí. No les aparecían en las listas anteriores que hemos visto, pero sí es bueno que ustedes conozcan que hay más adverse of frequency. Currently también. As well. Which one? Currently. Ah, currently. Cur yeah, it's true. Currently. However, no. However, no. No, that um, one, no. You're going, right now, I don't remember the no, other ones. También tenemos... Eh, I try to remember. Yeah, every now and then, all right? Pero eso solo es como más informal. Por now eso and que, then? Ajá, uh, now and then, exactly. Eh, por eso es que no se los ponen en las listas, pero sí es necesario que ustedes los conozcan, porque los van a escuchar, que alguien más está hablando con esos adverbs of frequency y tienen que conocerlos. Now, in case you're wondering how to pronounce occasionally, aquí les puse una pronunciation que pueden tomar en cuenta si ustedes desean, but it's not an obligation. It's just for you to have an extra information. Occasionally. Así es como le pueden poner al sonido de occasional. Sí, se escribe occasionally, pero no se pronuncia así. Es occasionally. Okay, have you finished, my dear students? No, teacher. No, all right. I'm done. You're done, Marlon. I think somebody else.
said um, yes, but we're still gonna give you one more minute, you all, all right? So be ready with your sentences. Well. How do you say un espacio, pero entre, entre párrafos? Ah, space between space. párrafos. Okay. Porque pensé que es pay, pero o sea, es pay de, de el espacio. La ah, space. <laughs> ah. Ah, in the outer space. Ok. La space, en, espacio entre párrafos, sí, es space between paragraphs. Space between paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, porque sabe en mi mente, no, pero es que Spain. O sea, sí que es espacio, pero pues es espacio del universo. Pero es que el universe es sí. universo y university es universidad. Entonces... O se mezcla mi mente, digamos, con... It happens, it happens. Es como la palabra anime. 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 Mucha gente cree que actually es actualmente. Actualmente, y no. Y en significa como, en realidad. En realidad. Y currently es como para referirse a ese momento. Exactly, currently. You see, that's how English works. The wonderfuls of English. <laughs> the marvelous things. Las cosas maravillosas del, del idioma. Del, del idioma. All right. Now, everybody, let's get started. I think most of you have already finished. Number one. Number one, we're talking about Tom. So let me hear you, Diego, what you got. The number one, um, Tom usually reads the newspaper in the morning. Excellent, very good. Vieron eso? No, no nos perdimos de la regla gramatical, de la regla, uy, regla gramatical, all right? The grammatical rule, the structure. No se olvidó de eso, Diego, y lo puso justamente después de eso, como nos indica. All right, very good, Diego, excellent. Let's go with... Let me see, who else do we have in here? Can this must be more key? Vamos a ver. Lorena Alvarez, number two. Hello. Hello. He is for class frequent, frequency light. Hmm. All right, Lorena. ¿Qué nos dice? ¿Se acuerda de la regla gramatical, Lorena, que vimos para utilizar los adversos frequency? Sí. Nos decía eh, que... Eh, la número dos me dijo, ¿verdad, Miss? Sí, sí. Ok. La regla gramatical, Lorena, nos decía que después del sujeto íbamos a utilizar el adverso frequency. ¿Cuál es el adverso frequency en la número dos, Lorena? El frequency. Frequently. Excellent. Frequently. All right. Entonces, ¿cómo debería ir la sentence? Básicamente, ella está regalada la sentence aquí. El, como yo la puse así, Miss. He is frequency light for class. All right. Vaya, Lorena. En este caso, la sentence ya estaba hecha. All right. He frequently. Ya primero, is, frequency. Básicamente, ya está hecha ahí. He frequently is late for class. Okay. Right. Recuerda, Lorena, esa regla gramatical no se nos tiene que borrar. El okay. adverbio frequency va después del sujeto. Very good, Lorena. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Eh, number three, Marlon. And number four, Gaby Molina. Um, they always are happy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They always are happy, all right? Oh, they are always happy. Now, in this one, remember, the grammatical rule says that, by aquí viene, an exception, all right? La regla gramatical sí nos pide que el adverbio de frecuencia vaya después del subject. Pero, ¿qué sucede? A veces hay, ¿cómo se dice? No son corrections, son exceptions, all right? Excepciones. 
En este, en este caso sería they are always happy. They are, they are always happy. That's the thing. You need to be. Sé que puede parecer un poco confuso, right? Con estos exercises. Pero así es como aprenden que hay más de una manera de expresar algo. All right. Por pero ejemplo, en ese caso, perdón, en ese caso sería solamente para ellos. Para, no, para el always. Porque estamos ah, hablando la de ellos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, ellos voz. siempre, o ellos son felices, siempre. Siempre, exactly. Recuerda también, Marlon, algo, que nuestro cerebro tiende a querer traducir everything to, into Spanish, y ahí es donde nos mezclamos, porque no son las mismas cosas. Exacto. That's the thing, that's the thing, ajá. Uh -huh. All right, let's go with number four, Gabriela. She often does help her, her, her mother. Mm -hmm. She often, she often does, no, 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 no. Es pregunta. pregunta, let's check, es pregunta. ¿Con qué va a iniciar la pregunta? Con, da, con das. Excellent, very good. ¿Y cómo sería? Sería, does she often help her mother? Excellent, very good, very good, Gaby. Excelente. No me había fijado que tenía el question mark, pero sí, es pregunta e inicia con el auxiliary. Very good, Miss Molina, excellent. Number five, let me check. Vamos con el número cinco. Eh. I need a boy, I need a man. Check. No, let me choose a girl. Uh, Mabel, number five, please. Um, um, is usually in bed by eleven thirty. Generally. Oh, generally. <laughs> general. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good, Mabel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Number six. Uh huh. Okay, let's go with number six. Let me see. Catherine Cativo, please. Molly, occasionally, visits the museum. Mm -hmm, exactly. Visits the museum. Very good, thank you. Let's go with Jonathan Burgos, the last one, la última. Jonathan. Um, just studying uh, rarely, creo que sí se pronuncia for the exam. Ok, bye. pero solo cambio el, donde he puesto las palabras. Sería, you rarely study ah, for this. Uh -huh. Ok, thanks. Yes, very good, thank you, sir. Now, everybody, this was a pretty good practice. Congratulations to you guys. Los felicito. Hicieron muy bien esta práctica, ¿ok? We had some ups and downs. Sí, como siempre, cada práctica vamos a tener. A veces ganamos, a veces no es que perdamos, sino que hay cosas que nos pueden fallar en las sentences. Y es normal, continúan aprendiendo. Este es apenas el segundo level, right? You keep learning. Así que ustedes tranquilos. Esto solo es para ver si nos recordamos del content. Now, snapshot. Let's check. What do we have for today's class? A sports season in the U.S. in Canada. Right? La temporada de deportes en Estados Unidos y en Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. All right? Now, let's check. Vamos a iniciar con Samuel. Samuel me va a leer todo el vocabulary, pero no lo va a hacer solo Samuel, sino que va a repetir después de mí, okay? Okay. Let's go. In the spring. In the spring. People play golf. People play golf. 
play soccer. Play soccer. In the summer, people. In the summer, people. Play baseball, play tennis. Play baseball, play tennis. Play volleyball, go swimming. Play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people. In the fall, people. Play football. Play football. Go bike riding. Go bike riding. Go hiking. Go hiking. In the winter, people. In the winter, people. Play hockey. Play hockey. Play basketball. Play basketball. Go as go ice skating. Go ice skating. Go skiing. Go skiing. Very good, excellent, Samuel. Thank you. Now, with that example, ya con Samuel dimos el ejemplo de cómo se pronuncia. Ahora les toca a ustedes. Vamos a iniciar con Damaris Isabel, please. Me regala el vocabulary. Después de, Sam de Damaris Valorena Álvarez. Ok, teacher. Um, todo desde... Yes, okay. desde spring hasta winter. Ok, es por sentencia. In the use, in the use, um, Canada. In the spring, people play school, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skating. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Damaris. Let's go with Lorena. Después de Lorena va Carla Melissa. Action, Lorena. Okay. Sport season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. Uh, in the in the fall, people play football, go go bike, riding, go. Hi, ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese, Miss? Hiking. Go hiking. Uh -huh. Exacto. That's it. In the summer, summer people play bas bas basketball, ba play baseball. tennis, play vol volleyball. Go swimming. Mm -hmm. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go go high sky, skating, go ski, skiing. All right. Repeat after me. Uh, go ice skating. Go ice ice, ice skating. Skating. Uh -huh. skating. Y la otra sería go skiing. Go skiing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank awesome. you, Lorena. Let's go with Carla. All right, everybody. Antes de que pase Carla y pasen los demás, les voy a dar una recommendation, right? Esto que ven aquí que tiene la U y la S se pronuncia U.S. All right. No es us o U. No, ninguno de esos dos. U.S. ¿Qué significa United States? Si tuviera la A sería United States of America, pero como no lo tiene, solo decimos U.S. Right. Let's go with Carla Melissa. Después de Carla va Juan Diego. Sports season in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play base baseball, play tennis play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. Mm -hmm. In the winter, people play hooky, hooky, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Very good, excellent, Melissa, thank you. Action Diego. Después de Diego va Marlon Escalante. 
sports season in the USA and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Very good, very good pronunciation, Diego. Let's go with Marlon. Sports season, season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, uh, go bike riding, go hiking. Hiking. Uh, and the hiking. And the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, play ice skiing, and go ski. Very good, sir. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Vamos con Katia Kangura y después de Katia iría Fanny Marlene. All right. Un, la razón principal por la que los estoy poniendo todos a practicar es porque probablemente mañana les pregunte, hey, what's the vocabulary from yesterday's class? Entonces, ya desde ahorita le voy diciendo, copy the vocabulary. Ok, action, Katia. In the U.S. and Canada, in the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play baseball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go by riding, reading, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey. Play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. All right, excellent. Thank you, Katia. Now, you guys, just give me one second. Vaya, explico lo siguiente, right? Esta palabra, bike riding, no podemos decir reading porque reading es un verb. ¿Qué significa el verbo reading? Leer, creo, no. Leer. Sí, sí, me quedo. Sí, no, 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 no se preocupe, right? Esto es right. las aclaraciones para todos, porque sé que no le pasa solo a usted, les pasa a montones de learners y eso es normal, right? Aquí es riding, que sería eh, montar bicicleta o andar en bicicleta, either or. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente, que sería Fanny, después de Fanny va Héctor Pérez. Action Fanny. Sports season in the USA and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball. Basketball, go ice skating, go es, go es, 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 skiing. skiing. <laughs> yes, Fanny. Fanny, repeat after me. Ice skating. Ice skating. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome, my friend. Let's go with Hector Perez. You are the last. Let me check. Se desconectó. Ah, bueno. Ah, bueno. So let's give the opportunity. Sí, ya vino, Herreras. Hello, Héctor. Ok. Now let's go with Silvia Flores. Please, you are the last one. Give me the honors. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, 
play volleyball, go swimming, swimming. In the four people, play football, go buy a wedding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skating. Skiing. Skiing. Right. Skiing. Excellent. Thank you, Sylvia. Very good. Everybody, let's please do not forget about bike, go bike riding. Okay. Now, my dear students, guiding examples. Teacher, ¿para qué vimos ese vocabulary? Solo para pronunciarlo. All right, it's for something else. Guiding examples. So, in the summer, Mary plays soccer. In summer, my parents go swimming. In the fall, Matias goes bike riding. In the winter, I play basketball. All right. Everybody. Solo quiero hacerles un énfasis en algo. Ustedes conocen que tenemos, ¿cómo se dice? Ay, I forget the name of the verbs. Tenemos verbos que cambian su forma, right? Cuando ya está en third person singular, right? Irregular verbs. So, in number three, you have a clearly one example of that. Ahora vamos a poner a Gaby Molina, please. Léame sentence number one and two. Y sentence number three and four sería para Jonathan Burgos. In the instead, in the spring, Mary plays soccer. In the summer, my parents go swimming. Thank you. In the fall, Matias goes by riding. In the weather, I play basketball. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. All right, everybody. Taking into account these examples, tomando en cuenta estos ejemplos del vocabulario, vocabulario que ustedes ya vieron y practicaron, let's go to the practice start. Nos vamos a su momento más querido de la clase. Let's listen to Maybelline, please. Léame las instructions. Practice time. Work individually. Create. At least four sentences with the vocabulary learning. Compare your sentence with the class. Excellent. Thank you, Maybelline. All right, everybody, there you go. Four sentences. That's all I'm asking for. Cuatro oraciones y con eso completamos la practice from today's class. Okay. Let's work on it. Voy a ponerle los guiding examples. Ya el vocabulario ustedes lo tienen.
Okay, so how are we going? Come on. Podría poner la imagen de los de Tenía. los. Uh -huh. Ah, Marlon, no lo copió. Tomorrow I'm gonna ask. Mañana le voy a preguntar. Okay, finish. Excellent, Jonathan. Very good job. I take okay. a screen. Took a screenshot. Okay, very good. Um, let me check. Vaya, Jonathan, ya terminó usted, pero es el único que me ha dicho que ya finalizó. Creo, no sé si están bien. <laughs> ok, don't worry, Jonathan, ya la vamos a chequear, ok. Un minuto mm. más y vamos a pasar todos. Ok. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Okay, we uh, we may start. Okay. Well, ya podemos iniciar. Let's listen yes, to Jonathan. Finish, okay. miss. Very good. Very good. Ya ven. Todos terminan al mismo level. Okay, vamos a escuchar a Jonathan. Let's pay. Let's please pay attention. Um, in the spring, George plays golf. Mm -hmm. And the summer, I go play baseball and the fall my sister goes play football and the winter he play hockey all right excellent very good jonathan very good let's go with the next one vamos con el siguiente que sería samuel después de samuel iría lorena después de lorena mar action samuel in the spring, I play golf. In the summer, I play tennis. In the fall, I go bike riding. In the winter, I play basketball. All right, very good, Samuel. Si están correctas, no tiene ningún error gramatical. Están perfect. Solamente que me la hizo todo en primera persona. Right? Y tenemos que jugar un poco. Cuando estamos con el simple present, para aprender a utilizar los verbos como Todos los subjects tenemos que variar del sujeto. Very good, Sam. Let's go with Lorena. In the spring, my brother plays soccer. Mm -hmm. In the summer, I, I go swimming with my friends. In the fall, my children ride by bicycle. Mm -hmm. In Very winter, good. my family and I play basketball. Very good, Lorena. Excellent. Very good. Gracias. Let's go with Marlon. Okay. In the winter, I play basketball with my brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the in the spring, my brother plays soccer. Mm -hmm. In the fall, Oscar goes bike uh, riding. Bike ride. Uh -huh. And. In the winter, I go ice skating. Bravo, sir. Excellent. Miren, eh, tengo que, hasta ahorita los que van los felicito, right? Porque no se quedaron solo con uh, I play golf, all right? Sino que han dado más information como uh, si han dicho la primera persona, no hay ningún problema, pero han agregado datos, all right? Excellent. Very good. Eso hace más presentables sus sentences, right? So let's go with Gavi. Gavi, después de Gavi, Diego. Yeah, teacher. In the spring, I play basketball in the park. In the summer, I go by ride. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, he goes fishing. All right, he goes fishing. Very good. Excellent, Gaby. Now, tenemos. <laughs> okay. Ah, Diego, okay. Don't worry, no se preocupe. Le damos chance para que las permite. Very good, Gaby. Excellent. Muy buenas sus sentences. Tenemos que jugar más con los otros subjects, Gaby. 
All right. Let's go with, vamos a ver, Carla Melissa. Well, I'll explain football. In summer, Maria played tennis. When the winner who plays basketball. In the spring, I play soccer with my sister. All right, excellent, Carla. Very good. You were playing with the subjects. Excellent. Let's go with Fanny. Después de Fanny, vamos con Mabel. In the sprint, I play soccer. In the summer, my sister go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. In the fall, my family goes play football. Uh, in the winter, um, in the winter, my brother play go play basket. basket All right, ball. excellent, fan. Están correctas, solo la tercera. Usted me dijo goes. Y family equivale al sujeto they. Entonces, uh, no es third person singular, sino que diría go. All right. Solamente go. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Very Thanks, good. It's teacher. easier. You're welcome. Let's go with Maybelline. Um. In the spring, I played basketball. Um, in the summer, my brother goes to the beach. Uh, in the fall, Judith visit to the park and she like roller skate. Uh -huh. In the winter, my family go the mountain. Very good, excellent, Emily. Okay. You gave me more. You gave me more details. Very good, Hector. A ver, Hector, si nos funciona el audio, tal vez nos regala sus sentences. Sí, teacher. En este momento sí. Mm. Todavía no le funciona el audio, Hector. All right, se le corta un poquito, no un poquito, bastante, okay? So don't worry, Hector, if you can, you in can send your screen. I play in the summer. Okay. Let's go with Diego, please. Okay. Um, in the winter, I like to play soccer in the rain with my friends. Uh -huh. um, in the summer, John plays tennis. In the spring, my dad plays soccer's. soccer. In the fall, I like to go riding. You like to go bike riding? Sorry, yes. <laughs> okay, excellent, very good. All right, everybody, congratulations, yo, los felicito. Yo no me voy a casar de felicitarlos cuando hacen un excelente trabajo, right? Very good job, excellent. Now, my dear students, ahora mis queridos estudiantes, vamos a una conversation. Simple present, WH questions in conversation, I love sports. Let's see. We have Lauren and Justin. So, Justin, what are you doing in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> okay, very funny, very funny. It's really funny, yo. También graciosa la conversation. Let's go with the next one. Ahora vamos con los siguientes participantes. Let's have Jonathan Burgos. Usted va a ser Justin. Eh, Kenia Corvera. Usted va a ser Lauren. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? 
well. I love the sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, okay. Baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow. You are re a really good uh, athlete. When do you do play all this sport? Sports? Oh. Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Excellent. Very good job, y'all. Very good intonation. Qué bonita entonación le dieron a la conversation, right? Me mantuvo despierta. Excellent. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja, que sería Damaris. Usted va a ser Lauren. Marlon, usted va a ser Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What, what sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Well, you are really good at asking when do you play on the sport. Well, I don't play the sport. I use watch the on television. Excellent! Very good job. Very good job. Now let's see. Antes de que pase la siguiente pair, solamente un par de cositas, everybody. Tenemos que hacer énfasis en los plurals, porque si tienen s, esas s tienen que sonar. For example, sports. Sports, all right. This, this, eh, this is para plural, pero es plural, all right. Entonces, tenemos que hacer énfasis en esas words para que no se nos confunda cuando estamos hablando. Let's go with, vamos a ver, Lorena Álvarez. Usted va a ser Lauren. Mm, let me check. Vamos a ver quién tenemos por aquí. No veo a Samuel. No sé si está así. Aquí está Samuel Flores. Usted va a ser Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free, free time? Well, I love, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, bas basketball. Basketball, volleyball, baseball. baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athletes. Athlete. We athletes. When do you play all this this sport? Oh, I don't know. Play this sport, and use watch them. On television. Excellent. Thank you. Very good pair. Excellent intonation. Yes. You're welcome. Now, everybody, grammar focus. Antes de irnos, solo voy a eh, repasar con ustedes estas questions and answers. Okay. We have simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with my with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, everybody, listen up. Uh, vamos a finalizar la clase aquí, all right? Siempre animándoles a que después de la clase ustedes puedan avanzar un poquito más en la plataforma. Y también, si no estamos al día, tratemos de hacerlo, ¿ok? De estar ya en la section 5, porque entre mañana y la primera media hora del miércoles vamos a terminarla completamente y luego trabajamos en el final exam. ¿Ok? That's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.